welcome back to another cool sighting here in the Timbavati Game Reserve. We decided to come up north a little bit because there was a few wild dogs reported. Currently moving into the sighting slowly. So uh, let's pop in here and switch over to the video camera and see what they're up to. First visual we got of the dogs, only five of them. But they seem to be looking for a place to go to rest. It does look like there's a little bit of blood stain around the neck area, so they might have had a good feed. But let's see if we can get another quick glimpse. The busiest bodies in the bush felt. You can barely get these guys standing still. I see some of them have gone static. But this guy is on a mission. He's not satisfied. He's still hungry. Three of them. What are the northern packs? Five individuals. Part of this hunting party. I would love to know where the other adults and their puppies are and how many pups actually survived. It's about their time to, to start getting more active with the adults. So just a fragmented part of the pack that we see in here now. It seems like someone is a little bit hungry by chewing that branch. Mm. Yeah, so they'll all find a good spot and they'll rest for the day in the shade. And this afternoon, when it cools down, the first thing they think about normally is to go find some water. And, um, but sometimes even before that they make a kill on their way to the water and they absorb a lot of moisture from the blood content mm -hmm. from the prey animal through their long intestines, these guys. So sometimes they even skip going to the water just after making a kill. Yeah, that one under the tree is looking very tired or stretched out. And that one lying down is wounded. <sighs> yeah, these guys, they pick up scraps with other packs. And, um, yo, they can go at it, eh? Mm. You never know if it was an altercation with hyenas as well. Especially if they fragmented like this, only five individuals makes them more vulnerable. Obviously strength in numbers with the larger mm -hmm. packs, they can't be overpowered by easily by hyenas then. But I mean these guys can bump, you know, other packs in the area and they're mm -hmm. quite, they're quite uh, strict on their own range and to have control over the area of where their prey moves. So if these packs pump each other, there can be massive fights between different mm. packs. Mm. So it could be that that could be the reason for that injury. They look so um, healthy, this lot. Oh, just clean and deep. Yes, biomass has been excellent because of the good rains last year, during the beginning of the year. So the prey animals are thriving, meaning that the keystone species of the, like impala, or the buffer species of antelope and the kruger, if they do well, these guys will do well. But the ultimate condition of the animals is really looking great. Eh? Mm. Uh, as we already know out of experience, hyenas are synonymous with the dogs. Once they catch wind of dogs, they'll be following. The wild dogs are exceptionally lucky 
or successful when they do hunt so hyenas can grab the scraps if they stay close by. So while we're at this pack of wild dogs, there is a few hyenas in the mix. Are we gonna leave them shortly? I don't think these guys are gonna move much after this spot. They're finding some shade in a small Mopani tree. And you can see how the tails are being used to swap flies and the ears moving also to control the flies. But they're looking content. Full bellies, happy dogs. Hi there and welcome back to Heartbeat of the Timbavati. To another epic big cat sighting. And tracker Isaac up front spent about an hour tracking these ladies on foot. For or five lionesses if I'm not mistaken. Let's switch over to the video camera. I'll show you from this side. Okay, my turns. There's the man. So we on the southern properties and I'm guessing that this might be the giraffe pride four giraffe lionesses. I do remember that they did separate from the other two young males that was with them. I'm not sure who is the pride males of these lionesses at the moment. But it is about just after 8 o'clock in the morning, getting quite heated. So these ladies, they probably came from a nice drink at a dam close by and now they found a good spot to nap for the day. They keep on flicking those ears, you can see the flies hovering there close to the ears. A slight bit of a breeze blowing. Another epic job, job well done by Tracker Isaac. And we actually needed lionesses or lions quite desperately the last two, three days have been quiet with them. But luck has changed. Yeah, you're right, Stephen. This one looks the one with the head up looking our way as. Uh, Look at the ear pin, eh? it's not worn out. And if she had to yawn, you'll probably see very, very nice and sharp canines. But uh, apparently this could be the Sark Pride individuals as well, four Sark Pride females. Or some of the giraffe lionesses. I think the giraffe lionesses were moving a little bit further south from where we are normally i haven't seen them in a very long time and the sark pride five depleted to only the four I'm not sure where that sark lone young sark male ended up and they were sort of in between our concession and some of the southern concessions so this could might as well be the sark individual sleeping right here Oh, epic. It's always nice seeing the big cats. And our timing was right just to see a few heads up and now you can see the all flat cats. There's the legendary tracker Isaac. Up front, Isaac, Mr. Matons. You said you were uh, tracked for about an hour this morning, eh? Yeah. Is it? And what did what did the lionesses do when they saw you? Did they just move off? No, they did not see me. Mm. They just saw the leg up and then the tail. Yeah, mobile out of my bed. Well, there you got it, folks. He saw them before they saw him. That's exactly. That's exactly how you do want to track the lions or track the animals or approach or encounter them that they're unaware of your presence not to change their behavior too much 
but from a fantastic late morning note and sleeping lions with uh, good looking relatively full bellies I'm tuning out from the central Timbavati and you are watching Heartbeat of the Timbavati thank you for tuning in I'll catch you later to all wildlife enthusiasts thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe from the Timbavati Game Reserve and the Rockfic team stay safe and cheers for now.